All right, now assembly of one of the tents, then we'll do the other tent. We'll start with 3P. Main tent. Poles. Footprint. Rain. All right. So we'll start with the footprint. Marmot makes these very nice indicators. See, so one's red, one's not. If I come to the other side, there's red. Next, take your tent. There's my little reds again. Red tab, red tab. Door side up. Red tab stays with that. And yes, your tent should be bigger than your fo footprint. Why, you might ask? Well, if it's wider than it, if you get rain coming down, even if it's way out here, it'll hit and go underneath your tent. Not a good time. It'll soak through, then you'll be wet and be crying. It's just such a bad time. I love these tent systems. This is for a cross brace for the rain fly. Whee! Frame. Next. Doesn't matter where you start, just start getting hooks on. It's usually easier if you go ahead and do that one. This is going to be real fun when I have to put the big one up. So now you have your basic tent. A little tour of the Marmot 3P. You notice how you have a low line and it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's the end they suggest you put your head at. So you get the most like shade and so it's not waking you up so early in the morning. Feet go down there, you have little storage pouches here, 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 and here. There's also a little spot to put that little lamp on right there. It's really nice. Now letting it air out, I would let it sit out like this for, I usually just leave mine for an hour. Whoa, good thing about a freestanding tent, it'll float away. So always make sure you get a couple stakes in when you're putting out the footprint. You can use these little loops to go into a stake down into the ground. So really hot outside, no chance of rain. 
leave it like this. If there's a possible chance of rain or you want to sleep in and it's a little cooler, you can put the rain flap on. And look, our little red friend and our other red friend. These are good fire pits. They are expensive. And you need this thing for winter time because it'll deflect out. So otherwise it goes straight up in the air. But they are good. Make sure you get them on sale though. Now, this one, you get an extra little piece. Open up our little vestibule here. Oh, sorry. First, we need to let the little kickstand out. Now, if it starts raining, it can uh, hit over this, fall down. You still get a little airflow in there to keep it from condensating up on the inside. I like to roll mine up from keeping the outside part exposed. So roll it up inside of itself. Roll it up with the inside out and it starts to rain. And you're not there to notice it or some other reason. The inside's going to get wet. Ta-da! Now you have a very good dry tent. Okay, so now inside the tent i don't know why these people like to market these things as three person four person two person whatever the number is subtract one and that's the max number of people you can comfortably have with gear so plenty of room head to toe put another person there where's the third person going to go hmm take my advice always subtract one okay so while we have this out what are we doing we're letting it air out for one so it's not musty and building up other bacterium and mold and other things in it we're testing to see if it, all the pieces are still here testing to see if there's any rips tears the fit and finish of it is one side faded more than the other like i don't know if the camera picks this up but you can tell the top part is definitely lighter than the bottom or mids which is fine sun will do that you check all the zippers they easy to go up and down any of them get stuck oh i got these tents from rock city down in Chattanooga, great place. If you are a little bit step above the REI level and you want good gear, give Rock City a shout. They'll be really good to help you out.